Hello YouTube Pipe community. OTC Piper coming again to try to get this video done. This is like the second or third take. And I've had the, if you remember on my first video, I put a disclaimer on the front of the video that there was some uh, sound disturbances um, or interference. I'm not sure what the deal was with that. It's the first time I've had it happen. And when I did this video last time, I saw that it was there again, maybe a little bit worse, and I'm not sure exactly why. Nothing's really changed around here. There's no machinery going that I think would cause interference, and I have airplane mode set, so I shouldn't get anything like that. And I'm trying it again, and I'm also um, trying a new app, a new camera app that may, and I'm trying to see if it's going to do better with the autofocus problems that I've been having. So, uh, and this is only, this is, you know, my setup for the uh, OTC videos. I have another setup that we're doing using for the Sacred Relief Society that's going to be a little bit more involved and if I have to use that as well for uh, OTC videos then I will. It's just a lot more, you know, a little bit more to set up with the equipment and everything. But we're gonna, I'm, I'm trying to uh, slowly but surely work out all the, the kinks not just with the Sacred Relief Society but with the stuff that I encounter on this uh, platform as well. But I was uh, just doing a video talking about a fun day we had, uh, me and Catholic Pipe Stetter got our kids together. And um, before I get too much into that, I'm going to go ahead and get my pipe lit up. And what I'm doing is uh, today uh, I'm doing some Seven Seas White, which you've seen these pop up in Catholic Pipe Stetter's video. I wound up getting some uh, and I'll tell you how I came to, you know, that's all part of the story. Let me get it lit up first. This is an old Medico pipe that I picked up at an antique store um, that was actually in, in fairly well con condition. Um, I'm probably going to do a refurbishment on it just to take, because I can see it's got a lot of very pretty grain underneath a, a bunch of uh, polyurethane or, or something, a you know, dark stain. and I think that's really going to pop once I, once I strip some of that off. But right now I'm just going to smoke it as it is. Now, I'll tell you, this stuff, I'm really liking the Seven Seas. There we go. So, let's see here. What I what I wound up with are some of the white, some of the red, because I'm really coming around to cherries, and I really like this blend, and the royal. Figured well, if I had to pick three, I'd go patriotic with the red, white, and blue. So that's what it, he also had a black and I tried some of his black and that was really good too. <clears throat> so what we wound up doing was, uh, I mentioned in my last video, how I am adding another hobby I'm trying to get my daughter into, which is metal, de metal detecting. And as, as a way to kind of teach her about local history and letting her see it firsthand. And, and you know, this is the stuff that's not taught in the classrooms. Because it's a very much a micro view, you know, of history where, you know, in the classroom they're teaching you more broad topics. And she really has come into this. She really likes to, to do that. And you know, there it goes again with the autofocus. Let's see how it goes with the rest of this video. See if I need to try a different one. Now, I was teaching her how to cut plugs correctly. Like if you ever go into somewhere that's got, you know, very lush grass and you're not out in the pasture somewhere, how to cut the plug so that you can pull it out, check what's underneath it, and then set the plug back in and, and it will look like it's never been, been dug. And I figured, well, I'd use my own grass instead of using somebody else's grass as the uh, training platform. And she found an old toy ring, probably one of hers from a couple of years ago that she's forgotten about. 
And she just thought she broke into Fort Knox. She was so happy about that. And it's still on her nightstand. She just loves that little thing and because it's something that she dug out. And and to her, that's really, that's really cool. And I'm glad for that because it was about that age, when I was that age, she's nine, that I really got into things like, um, you know, arrowhead hunting and, you know, finding old things like that. So, so I was glad for that. So what we wound up doing, I thought, well, Dave's got a homestead that you've seen in some of his videos. And my daughter would like to get out there and, and dig around in some of that. And I thought, well, his kids would too. And the cousins all, all love to play together and they do real well. And, you know, David's got two, I've got one. And they all, they all like to hang out and play together. So I thought, well, I talked to Dave and said, hey, you know, I'm really trying to get Melody into uh, metal detecting, and I myself am getting back into it. So I'm, I'm ha also having to reintroduce myself to it because I have sat out of it for too long. And, and now now that I can impart that to her, I just realize how much fun it used to be. And I can't now. Now I'm trying to think why I ever quit, you know, meddling and meddling, <laughs> uh, getting into, you know, uh, stop, you know, practicing that hobby. And, uh, I guess now that I have some somebody to impart that to, it makes it uh, mean a little bit more to me. But uh, anyways, I digress. So he said, "Yeah, come on out." The, you know, the kids would love to do that, and his his, his kids are. I think they would they would like that kind of thing. So he's got on the plot of land that he's on. There was an old homestead that was uh, in that location. So I thought, yeah, this would be kind of cool. You know, we can maybe you know pick up you know dig up some old relics from that homestead and. And let them see it, and they can clean it off and see what it was, and things like that. So, I had in mind that you know I had I, I've got a my primary detector and a, a backup one, and um, I thought, well, I'd use my primary. I'd let Dave use my uh, my backup, and and um, you know the kids can kind of go bounce back and forth between the adults. And my daughter was kind of bummed because she likes to run one herself. I said, well, you know, we got two grownups and, you know, we got three kids out here. So the grownups are going to run the metal detectors and y'all can help us, you know, when we go uh, to dig a target. And so we got out there and as soon as we got out to his little homestead, boy, they were off in the pasture. They were just playing and everything. We were kind of getting set up, talking a little bit, had a pipe and things like that before we really got into it. And in my mind, we were going to dig a target and they were going to all circle around and all waiting to see what would come up. And they were going to be very interested in that and uh, wait patiently while we were digging in there. And uh, that ain't what happened. Get, getting them together, it was, it was like dynamite. So, you know, David's boy he likes, he, he's, he's so cool. Anything that he can pick up is a sword to him. So he had this old broken off part of a T post that he was swinging around because it looked kind of like a sword at the you know bottom with the hilt and everything. And I was, I, I feared for my jugular the entire day we were out there because he was running all around and, and I set my metal detector down when we would dig a target and I'm having to watch it keep my head on swiveled watching the hole, watching that, make sure he didn't get pummeled. And, uh, and so when we were trying to dig a target, here they were, bam, they all had their hands in there. We were trying, you know, um, and then sometimes when we were just out swinging a metal detector, they didn't care anything about it. They were just, man, they were off anywhere in that field. And uh, it didn't really wind up like I thought it would. But Dave actually really liked doing it because he's the, the new owner of that property now. And, uh, As we were digging up some things, I said, yeah, this is good evidence that there was a home site. You know, the home site was nearby, and this is the kind of things you would look for. And we wound up finding some uh, buried uh, little uh, rock stone, you know, stone. You know, they, they, they were, you know, they, they were, uh, one of them was square, but they were buried, you know, kind of like stepping stones that led out into the pasture. When we'd go out in the pasture, and we'd start finding all these car parts or tractor parts and everything. So I told him, I said, you know, look, that's a good sign that 
whoever was here in this old homestead, you know, they, they had a path, you know, that, you know, they had a barn or something they kept a tractor in or, or a truck or farm truck or something like that. And this is, you know, so now we're over here and we're finding totally different things. So he got into that and uh, really liked it. And I said, well, you know, that, that's just a backup detector. I said, Dave, you know, if you really want that, you know, if you really want to do this and, and have this around, you know, how about, you know, if you want to take this detector, how about you let me, uh, you know, get grab three tens of your seven C's that, you know, he bought so many of them. When he kind of finished his project, he just got so many of them left. So I wound up taking out these three just to try, and he's happy to have the metal detector. And uh, because he, he really became interested in that, and I think that the other kids are going to really pick up on that. I think it's more when they get together that things kind of kind of change and uh, they join forces and, and it's a little different story. But it, we all had a good time that day, I think. And they were, they, they were interested, but just not in a, in a way that I thought they would be. And uh, there's, you know, the, the video I'm going to tag on the end of this one is hilarious. It's like an entire video of outtakes that you would normally scrap. Well, that's the main video. <laughs> And uh, I, I tell you, the, the, the experience in getting out there and, and, and seeing all that happen, looking back on it, is just wild. It's, uh, I'm glad it went the way it did. It wasn't the way I intended it when we first started, but uh, we just had a good time. Um, but having said that, I'm going to tag the video on the end. I just wanted to say kind of some, you know, some of my thoughts about these seven Cs, which, you know, it, it's wildly believed that they are McBaron's kind of going after, you know, the, um, not going after him necessarily, but uh, doing the Captain Black, you know, takes on him, maybe a higher, uh, higher end version of the Captain Black. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, that they all kind of follow suit with that, with the uh, Royal and the White and the Cherry. And uh, it's been a while since I had some Captain Black. I'd like to get some and do some, uh, you know, comparisons uh, with them. But be that as it may, let me get a relight here. Be that as it may, I really like the, the blends that are here. And as somebody that really likes the OTC varieties, you know, the Codra blends and things like that, this kind of takes it a little, you know, a step higher in in the same vein. So maybe you know this may not be something that I order a lot of, but I will order some of it and, and enjoy it, you know, while I have it uh, because it's it's a good product made by you know a good blender, and uh, you know for the price you can't beat it. Um, you know I you know you've seen some a lot of the yabos that I've done. Uh, I really like to buy the bulk because I like to jar them up. Um, and you just get more for your money when you buy, you know, say, find something you like. Like for me, the TK6 is a great bulk blend that will, uh, to, to me, is one of my favorite cherries uh, that's out there. Uh, I, I would put it right up there with Colt Blood Red Moon, and you can buy a pound of it for under 30 bucks and jar it away and, and enjoy it for a lot longer. So, you know, that's probably why I wouldn't order a lot of these tins exclusively, but you know, I will buy some of these just to have a tin of it laying around. So, you know, if you're in the market and you're uh, of like mind, then you may want to give those a try. So that's all I have to say on that. Really. I see the videos getting up near 14 minutes and I got to tack on some other uh, videos, uh, you know, the other video to this one. So I don't want to drag it out too long. So I'm going to leave with that. Hope you enjoy the, uh, the other video. OTC Piper wishing everybody all the best, good times and warm pipe. All right, today we are at the homestead of Catholic Pipe Stetter that you've seen on so many of his videos. We're coming out here, the kids are playing. We're going to introduce them to a little metal detecting today. We have, uh, this is the site of an old homestead, right where the shipping container used to be is where the house sat. We're going to search around that. Uh, see what kind of goodies may be laying under the ground waiting to be discovered so um, the kids are, are playing right now and uh, they're going to come and join us here in a little while yeah. so as soon as uh, as soon as Dave puts my metal detector down <laughs> we're going to get started 
and uh <laughs> and we're going to uh we're going to come back with you as soon as we get on target we'll see you then okay dave here got him a target here. thanks asher <laughs> Dave got him a target going. Yes, I'm scared. Oh, sure. Go check on her if you think she's scared. All right. Okay. We're over here. So we have it out right here. I don't know if you can see it because of the sun. Iron. Iron. Yep. What's iron? Piece, a little flake of iron. That's iron. Oh my goodness, Dad, you can buy a target. But we don't know here. You can get around in there. There's still some more down in there. Why don't you go ahead and fish out? I don't want to take your target from you. Okay. Oh, what's in, what's in that? White. I'll, I'll check this out if you. Oh, yeah, it's just. That? What do you got there? Looks like a piece of a shingle. Old piece of a shingle. Yep, sure enough is. Yeah, this is. Look, flakes. This is old metal right here. See? This is all metal flakes. That's a lot. See? Still some more down there. Why don't you keep yeah. digging? Wow. Probably part of a treasure chest. You think so, Asher? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we had a treasure chest full of cold. <laughs> uh, every metal detector's dream, right? Yep. That's the whole point. Right. So it's the the epicenter's right here. That's where the whole thing is. Okay. Oh. Here, we need to clean this out. Yes. Yeah, here, here. Let me get down in there and. Down. You want a bug? Yeah. Right. Kill it. There's something. It, it, it's bigger than than what we're pulling out. Yeah. Oh, it's this. That's a big chunk. Yeah. That's a chunk. Look at that. That's a big old piece of something. Yeah. And we didn't even find that on the I first think that's thing. a brick. I'm gonna break it. Piece of old metal. That's really that fascinating. Yes, it is. That's true. So there's there's the end of it. Okay. So we need to go this Asher, way more. Calm down, buddy. Iron. What are we? What are we oh. I don't know. It's just a big chunk. No, it's a big piece of metal. No, 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 okay. So we just need to go back. You want to come way. back here yep. and take some out? All right. We're gonna keep trying to get this out, and we'll come back with you as soon as we get it unearthed. Okay, we got it unearthed here. So and shingles and cans. This is probably a junk shingle. Can. It looks like a flattened out can here. Very old. Very. Uh, uh, I mean, flaky. But it is. It, I mean, it, it is just signs that we're in the right area. And, uh, you know, this, you know, we don't know exactly where the homestead yeah, was or where it was it. positioned, but we know we're, we're in the right area. So, uh, we're going to see if we can find anything, anything better. See you next time. Yeah. All right. Dave just picked up something interesting. It was a shallow find, but it is, what, what it is, is it's the, uh, bracket for a, a bucket or a pail where the handle would hook into it right here. This shows, uh, you know, there's some more signs of uh, some of the agricultural tools in the homestead, the farm, you know, the, the farming tools and things like that that are in this area. So we're just kind of one at a time picking up these little traces. And uh, so hopefully we'll find something better next time. Remnants of an ancient civilization. <laughs> All right. Okay, I got one here. I haven't really got it cleaned up. We can, Looks like a... Some kind of a uh, part to attract. Aaron, Aaron, give me that. What is it? We found something. Nice. Some kind of part, maybe to a tractor. So we'll see if there's any more down there. What is it? What part is it? Tell me. It looks like a pile of a doorknob. Maybe. Okay. All right, Dave found something cool here. What do you got? This is either a gas or radiator cap from like an old tractor or truck. Uh huh. Pretty neat. Got the worm going through it and all. Yep. I we'll have to get that cleaned up. Yep. We can maybe uh, see if we can see any markings on that. Yeah, I can't make out any logos or anything. There's something right there. We we'll just have to clean it off. Yeah, we'll have more. to clean it off and uh, see if we can find some. But that's that that's a pretty cool, cool find for the homestead here. So, well, we'll see you on the next one. Back again, it looks like a, a little washer or press cap, press fit, uh, cap flip it over the other side. You, you know, it's got the uh, lip on it there. What we're finding is, early, you know, this is how far we've gone. There's the old uh, container. And what we found is we've started to find a 
bunch of uh, concrete stones or stepping stones that we couldn't quite uh, detect uh, what it was for. And it looks now we found we're, we're starting to find some things that make to, make us feel like this is a, a barn or somewhere that uh, the uh, a farmer would have stored his tractor or his uh, work truck. So we're going to keep trying this area to see if we can come up with some more uh, cool tractor and truck parts.